Howdy everyone, it's me once again, one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. Whether I'm talking about the movies, shows, programming, theme, theme parks, whatever, I guess. So, yeah. So I just thought, at least we'll make one more video for my Disney stuff before giving it a rest and just um, return to it later, I guess. And yes, I would do that quite often, just, you know, do a bunch of these videos, give it a rest and just come back to it, I guess. The business I would do. Am I giving up on this? No. Even my last one for a little while, then just give um, give it a rest and just come back to it like, the, like, like I did before. Several times already, I guess. Well, quite a few times actually. So, to kind of like end it in a positive way, I guess. And this is not a review, no, just just talking, I guess. You want to say that like I did before. Speaking about speaking about a movie I've already spoken about before, and I wanted to do a review for like a special edition. Or whatever, which I've done, by the way, with this specific movie. But I've noticed that Disney didn't do all that many special editions. But compared to, like, you know, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Aladdin, with well, the original Aladdin, anyway. Uh, the original version of these movies, of course, uh, when it comes to these movies. Or, yeah. Disney, or yeah, Cinderella, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, or uh, the, yeah, the original Lion King, um, Pinocchio, yeah, that's another one. Uh, but you get the picture, like, you get the you get the idea. Like, a lot of the other Disney films that are considered classics, classics have, they had multiple special editions. They all did. Well, um, but just for but for some reason Alice in Wonderland was like very few very few special editions compared to um the other at least at least compared to the um other versions. And, and the thing is that at least I'm not finding that many, of course, because uh, I'm not finding that many at all. Oh I, I tried. I really did look it up. Um I'm going to Amazon, eBay I'm going to stores and in person, of course. This seems weird. I don't know why. And, um, but I know the storytelling is not extremely linear like some of the other movies, like like movies would traditionally have like a beginning, middle, and end. Why it does have that kind of a structure in some ways, which it does, but. But how do, how do I put this? There's like a lot of events, like small events in the movie that have a main goal. You forget what I'm getting out of here. And in other words, I could easily compare this movie to a film, which I actually liked as well. Yeah, I can compare this to this movie as well. Yeah, Eraserhead. Yeah, I know, out of all the movies, it, it's, what the hell? It's technically not a Disney film at like at all, but it's very surreal. Uh, so much so that it's kind of hard to describe it in some ways. It's so surreal. So that's that's what I can say about this movie in, in the same kind of sense. Just what? Just very surreal, I guess. But I mean that as a good thing. I mean that as a positive thing. So it's a compliment, I guess you can say. I guess you can say that even something like Wonderland can be corrupted. I guess because, you know, off with your head. You know, the whole queen thing. Yikes. But yeah, folks, uh, I guess that's the message in some ways. At least that's what I think it is. Because it's sad but true. That kind of thing can happen. So, um, but yeah, it's a learning thing, of course. So, also, um, I guess you can say, sometimes things are not what they would be, I guess. 
because sometimes things can be crazier of what they could potentially be, like whatever that means. So also, peer pressure can be a bad thing as well. Of course, if you it, many people can force you to do things that you don't want, which unfortunately can happen. Of course, yes, that's just a part of the human experience, I guess, in a lot of ways, and. I guess, I know a lot of kids out there can be really curious. I mean, so would adults, of course. So, it kind of feels like Alice herself is kind of meant as a placement for the viewer. They can be really curious on what's going to happen next. Like, what's going on? What is this? What is that? What does this mean? What does that mean? How is this happening? What about that? So, again, that's at least what I got from this entire thing anyway so yeah i guess it helps with the imagination can go really wild of course it's wonderland of course it can do that obviously so yeah there's that i suppose and of course i mean that as a good thing yeah in some ways there were some technical difficulties when you think about it because Yes, they had to go through quite a few things to make this movie work, and work make it work properly. That's easier said than done, because you have to think about the fact that this was made before, you know, computers were even a thing, like they are nowadays, in this day and age. So, yeah, that's a feat in its own. But, yeah, that's definitely something you know, to think about. But it paid off, though. All the hard work did pay it off, so that's should be something to be um, uh, cheerful for, I guess you can say. They made this film where a lot of people can actually cherish, which they do, of course. And I, I like that. I like the fact that this had lots of hard labor. And, um, I mean, yes, okay, this may not be as popular as some of the other Disney animated movies, which in some ways is a bit of a shame, but for what it's worth, I did like it, obviously, uh, it has a, how do I put this, this film belongs in a category of its own, uh, again, I do mean that as a compliment, obviously, so, yeah, there's that. As I was saying earlier, when it comes to the overall story, the way it's structured, yeah, it just comes to question how uh, what Disney had placed it. The thing is that he spent about a good 20 years, at least 20 some years, right? Yeah, sounds about right. Something like this movie be made. He tried again and again and again. So it's in, I guess you can say, in production hell or delivery limbo for about 20 years before it actually being made. So, yeah, the way it's set up, the story, I mean, it may not be as, t the way the setup is not as typical as some of the other movies that were made over the years, or even before this one. But still, Alice herself does have some, I guess you can say, radical ideals when it comes to the strange ward that's around her, of course. And I guess you can, I guess you can say, this is in regards of the fact that Alice wants to be her own person. Yes, she's rebellious. Yes, she's in tune with herself, by which I mean she's she wants to be her own person and doesn't want to really be bothered with these pesky adults around her. I guess their hot hostility, I guess you can say. Well kids are tend to be rebellious anyway. But you can tell that she, she experienced quite a bit of annoyance with the adults in her life. Quite often, I guess. Because she wants to do her thing. And this attitude definitely uh, carries on in Wonderland. And the thing is that, I guess, she learns that her imagination uh, can be pretty crazy in its own way, but she does have to think about it uh, in comparison to the oddities in, Wonder in Wonderland once she actually goes through the rabbit hole, I guess you would say. She does venture off to this magical, strange land, this ward, only to discover that, yeah, she's not exactly very welcomed here either, when you think about it. Um, she has terrible time in a lot of ways. 
and no one wants her to be there either when you think about it. So, yeah. So, of course, throughout this adventure she has in Wonderland, she does have these moments where she finds herself questioning the strangeness, I guess. Thinking about the her own mindset to that of um, her close mother close-minded uh, mother or anybody else of her relatives, I guess, at home, uh, I guess, it makes her wonder and whatnot. So, yeah, this kind of stuff is what, uh, well, among a many stuff, I can say. I'm not going to include this video, but because this, this video would just go on and on and on. But stuff like this is, you know, is one of the reasons I like this movie, because it's kind of bizarre when you think about it. I like the fact it's a little, I like the fact it's wacky in its own little ways. It's weird. Hey, that's fine by me. I like weird movies anyway. So yeah, all together, I can say, give this a shot, folks. All right, it's just me rambling on this, this point. Ah, uh, damn it. I need more milk. So all right, I guess I use that as an excuse to, I guess, cut the video off already. But yeah, I do appreciate people for looking at this and whatnot. Like I said, I just want to uh, end this in, in this Disney thon in a positive way. I'll return to it later, of course. I'm not giving it up. No, of course not. But I'll return to it later. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later. Yeah. Yes, sorry.